Hey there, everybody. It's Jack Barnwell here in Goodhart, Michigan. We are back on this really, really exciting project that we did last year at this time. It is a chilly spring morning, but I'm back here with my brother Emery, the very talented craftsman, woodworker extraordinaire, to build this custom steamed on-site oak handrail. And we're gonna be doing that today, and uh, we're gonna be diving in to steam these all right to the curves and everything of the stone staircase that, as you all remember, we built last year here on the beaches of Goodhart, Michigan. So this is gonna be a really exciting video to show you guys through this process. Let's dive in. <laughs> So we started off this morning early. We uh, got the first posts already set. Um, we're taking a, a hammer, a big rotary hammer drill and drilling into the stone and then setting these steel posts uh, by bolting them right into the stone, getting them all leveled up and they are really, really rock solid. Um, we put the first two posts in first, and then we use this batten here, this thin, thin strip, and kind of clamp that to the posts and get an idea of our curve that we want to see, and then we set the middle posts. This first set only had three posts, so it was a good warm-up. This next section here is going to be a lot longer. It's the biggest curve we've ever done. We actually have to scarf two pieces together that will be all steamed up and noodly to do this whole entire section as one big curve, one big steam. Um, so there's gonna be five or six posts up this outside edge here that will be getting the posts set while the steamer is heating up the wood, getting them all noodly. They're gonna have to cook for at least an hour in the steamer. So here we've got our steam box all built up. Right here on site, we wanna be as close as possible because when we pull those oak rails out, we want them to be really, really, really hot so we can steam them right to our curve. So we build our steamer out of PVC pipe. And this is what we use to create the steam. This is a uh, a wallpaper steamer. And uh, this little guy will be hooked up here. We've got a drill, a hole drilled right into the PVC pipe. And this will fill this pipe up with steam. We'll put this cap on the end and inside here will get extremely hot, full of full of hot, hot, hot steam. And then we'll start putting the oak rails. Looks like Emery's got them at the top of the stairs there. And he's getting the first couple of rails ready to bring those down and get them in the steamer. They'll cook in here for, like I said, over an hour and get really, really hot and really pliable, bendable. And then we'll pull them right out of here and right in. We'll have those uh, posts already set to our curve and ready to go. And then sometimes we'll take the rails and use the posts as our jig and we can over bend the rail a little bit and then when it's kind of cooled down a little, we'll take it off and, and mount it to the brackets. Other times, we actually will be pounding stakes right into the ground, up in the grass, um, in, in our curve, and we'll bend the rails into the curve, let it cool down and set, and then pop it out. So it's really, really important to get that curve set while it's super, super hot and pliable. And then as the oak cools down, the grain of the oak will memorize that curve and stay that way forever. So it's a really cool process that Emery has kind of masterminded here. We've done a couple of them already. This is our third railing, um, you know, doing this all on site here. And uh, it's going to be really cool to show you guys through this process throughout the day. As we do it, we're going to do sections of railing all the way up this uh, stone staircase up here but the next one that we're gonna do 
here shortly is the big one. So this is the one we've been talking about and working on and thinking about for quite some time now. It's an exciting, beautiful, sunny day here in Goodhart, Michigan. Thanks for coming along for the ride. So this is it, the moment of truth. Um, the steam box has been steaming now for over an hour. As you can see, the PVC pipe is super, super melty, like a liquid noodle. It's extremely hot in there. And uh, our two oak rails are in there for this longest section. Two 12 foot oak rails. We're gonna scarf them together. So the technique here is we're gonna pull them out clamp them together at the scarf joint that's already been cut, and then take that whole big hot noodle down and over bend it um, around the outside of the three central posts and then come back on the inside of the top and bottom post to over bend our curve a little bit um, by about 10 to 15 degrees, and then let it cool and then we'll pop it off, put it on the brackets and everything like that and cut it to length and oil it and finish it all off and stuff later. But the steam box is ready. We don't have a lot of time to uh, mess around because you don't want them to get too noodly and too loose. So we're right in the, uh, the window of time when we got to make this happen. So let's do this. Everybody. So it is now about 6.30. It has been quite the day here working on this project with Emery, uh, but we did get the handrails all totally done and installed. Emery had to hit the road, so he just scooted out. We just got everything cleaned up and uh, we just finished oiling the handrails. Uh, they look really, really pretty. So I'll walk you guys through and show you what it looks like uh, in just one day having these gorgeous steamed handrails installed excited to uh, get some good photography and everything of them uh, a little later this evening but I love the way that grain of the oak really comes out we use a boiled linseed oil which is a very very environmentally friendly you know totally green natural product so the boiled linseed oil is very easy to apply and um, it's not you know toxic there's no fumes or anything I kind of I like the smell of it actually um, but all of these rails have a really nice kind of custom curve that fits each individual staircase. This big, big, long one really worked out well. It's a 22 foot long curved railing and this scarf joint here just came out seamless right in the middle. 
really, really beautifully done. Really uh, pretty imp impressed actually at how well that all came together. You know, pulling it out as two separate pieces from the steamer and just how that all worked out really. Um, pretty proud of that one. I'm excited to see this landscape a little later on this season as all these perennials and all this stuff really fills in and starts to bloom out because we just planted this all last year and as its second year it's now just starting to get its legs under it so this you know big big drift of a still be right here it'll be super super pretty in another you know few weeks this pagoda dogwood one of my absolute favorites just getting ready to flower you see all those flowers it'll be a big cloud of white beautiful little tree there. And I love these little wisp handrails. They're like just, just all you need, you know, just a nice little rail there for each little flight of steps. But then they're not in the way at all if you want to enjoy something that's blooming or see the garden. But they're just, you know, there when you need it. Uh, we just put these caps on too as sort of a finishing touch. A little more decorative than the caps that come with the posts and um, so that, that really finishes those off quite nicely as well and then uh, the bolts we, we bolted these to the stone you probably remember earlier today we were chiseling the stone and bolting them all down and everything to get them nice and level and solid and these uh, lag bolts masonry bolts are made for this kind of application into concrete or into stone and they really lock and bind in there really, really well. And they make a, a nice little black cap that fits over those, or you can just paint them black with like a Rust-Oleum, real thick, nice paint or something if you want them to sort of just disappear. Um, so I'm not sure what we're gonna do quite yet on that, but remember, if, if you guys all saw the video from when we built this whole landscape last season, we were, you know, setting all these boulders and building all the staircase and stuff, but we also were running out in the woods and finding all kinds of cool mossy old logs and stuff like that to tuck in. So that, again, so just because I love planting up a landscape like this and making it look like it's been here for a really, really long time right away. And I'm really impressed at how all these mosses and all this stuff just naturalize so quickly. So it's been fun today to kind of be around this landscape and see all these neat little features kind of coming to life. Anyway, pretty proud of the way this handrail came together. Loving it. I'm um, looking forward to uh, kicking back, enjoying a bourbon this evening. It's been a heck of a day. We did not make the last boat to the island to get back to Mackinac, so c'est la vie. We have to stay here in good heart, enjoy the sunset one more night, and uh, hit the first boat in the morning. But uh, on to the next massive big project. We're gonna be doing lots of filming and everything for you guys uh, this upcoming spring and summer season through all kinds of beautiful, cool projects uh, all throughout Northern Michigan. So be sure to stay tuned. If you aren't already, subscribe and click that bell and everything so you get notified when we post all kinds of great videos and stuff like this and of many, many other great projects and beautiful places and spaces. So we'll see you guys all again soon in the next video. Cheers.